DD super light top and um, it's tiny um, I'm gonna insert a clip now from when I was at home so you can see just what it was like next to the original how cool is that that is loads of space saving size so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this um, sorted uh, have a look to it's out brand new in the pack and never been out so hopefully it goes down the same way when we finish with it but we'll see what it's like from DD and uh, yeah we'll give it a whirl see what happens I'll give a review on this and probably a six months time or something like that after I've battered it and been through you know what battered it we've been through its elements um, doing a winter in it doing a summer in it doing an autumn maybe even do a spring in it and we'll see just how it wears and fares up to uh, use you know what I think about reviews I don't like doing them and I don't think people who do do reviews do them right because what people do is they'll generally get them brand new out of the bag open it up look at it review it there and then as they're looking at it things like that maybe get a quick like a pot for instance to put on a quick boil and stuff like that and talk about and stuff and then they review it I say you really need to get out there and camp with it you need to carry it through like different terrain and stuff like that and things like this so we'll get on see how it goes so first I'm just going to open this up take this little brown bag off I've got the brown one so I've got two separate colours put this in my pocket so I don't lose it let's have a look draw it out Ooh. Feels really nice material, and inside of here, there will be pegs. Are they giving me ultra light pegs, super light pegs as well? Let's find out. I didn't expect to get pegs with it or anything. I just thought, oh well, I'll get like um, the top. Might have paid for the notes for this. I've got a DD account, and I even get discount through the club as well. But Stuart, me, I wanted it for this weekend. Yes, they have. Look at them. How cool are them? They're so pretty. Could be like titanium or something, maybe. I don't know. Answers below. What is it? Is it a titanium one? Who knows? But uh, they've done that. I've got some guy ropes. Doesn't look like the greatest, but there's guy ropes in there anyway. Pretty cool. So I'm quite happy with that. Thank you, Dee Dee. I know you know. I know you probably get them every single one, but I feel special. Right. Let's have a look at this. Well, a couple of loose threads and things hanging down, but you know, we'll 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 have a look before I start. Complain about anything, hopefully, I won't. See, it's just oh, it's a bit of thread, it hasn't been finished off. I'll tie a knot on that, probably. Isn't good. So, anyway, let's have a look. So, this feels good. Ooh. Stitched in, reinforced areas, smaller loops, very light, but yeah, it's what you should expect from something that's going to be so light. So, it looks good. Right, I'm going to get this set up, guys, and uh. I'll show you next how I set mine up for long-term use. A few things you're going to need with you to do this. Little carabiners, um, different sizes. These are just from Wilkinson's, cost a couple of quid. It says, uh, not for climbing, obviously, neither of them are, but they're just strong enough to be able to keep this up. Now, my friend, Mick. Hi, Mick, by the way, give you a shout out. Another advocate of the titanium movement to make things ultra light. I've been learning a lot from Mick as well, um, from the Bushcraft Club. Good lad, Mick Riddle, or Riddell. Michael Riddell. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've got these here. So I'm just going to basically put these on. Um, he reckons that it's better to use some sort of a slight elastic instead of paracord on the end, just to give it that little bit of flex when the wind catches so it doesn't, won't tear. But I'm going to kind of put it through its paces. What I will say is that I paid more for the nose. I paid 70 odd quid for this one. I think 74.99 from DD. Uh, I got rush delivery because I wanted it for a day. So I paid a fiver for that. And I paid like 64, 65 pound or whatever it was for it. And then whatever else on top of it. So it was about 70 odd quid anyway I paid for it. Um, that thing is I can get them for trade price but I need to put orders in of like 200 quid at a time and stuff like that but uh, yeah it's, it's a bit of a nightmare anyway let's get on with this and get this set up so two of these guys and put these in my pockets I know where they are paracord bag ours comes in handy so now I just want to select some paracord I think I'll go for the green the green because the other one's got gold I'll go for green with this one um, and all I'm going to do is just use a little bit of this and a little one, I'll show you how, what I'll do. I'm gonna create a tree system, a little tree pot, put them on. Um, right, let's get this pulled out so we can find out the center of the, center of it. Well, that looks like the center right there. Could be wrong, I'm sure it does. I think I am wrong, I think, yeah, it is the center. And there's the other part of the center, cool. Another part, Well, the center all the way at the end. So right, I've got the very end, the middle, of the top, take out my beaner, carabiner, 
There you go. Come through. <laughs> Hook them on. It's not rocket science. And uh, I'll do the same on the other side and then we'll, we'll set them up and I'll show you how I set them up. So it works for me. Now, there's loads of other ways of doing it like this. I mean, this is not exactly the most I put a lightweight carry and adding this to it, but they're my pack anyway. I always carry them because they come in handy. So there's both ends at the middle of it now set up just so I can attach these to the power cord itself. Next thing I'm going to do is unravel my power cord here. Okay, and I'm going to do one. Two, three, three enough do you think? I think one more just to make sure, so I've got plenty, four. So I've done four of them, which is roughly what, a meat or something? Um, actually, is there such a small amount left over? I might just use the whole thing to make some really long ones, because you never know when you get a mammoth tree you might need to go around. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll use a whole bit of paracord then. Um, right, let's find the ends. This is going to be quite a bit of power cord, I think, but too much. But anyway, let's find the end. Here's the end. And what I'm going to do is just tie these guys off. Any knot you want, it doesn't have to be fancy knot, it can be fancy knot, and a bit decorative power cord, put a little ball bearing in there, whatever you want to do, put a skull on the end, <laughs> some beads maybe, something cool. I just want a little, little knot there. So I'm just double looping through again. There we go. So now I've got one big loop. Okay, one huge, huge, huge loop. But I'll do that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie around the tree, and then I'm just going to put a series of knots in this guy, and then cinch him through. Same way I set all my other systems. Um, it's quite easy. So I think we'll use we'll use this tree here. Right. So again, got to find the end of this damn thing. There it is the end. We'll just tie that in there. I'm just going to pull it through, just so I know exactly where it is. Shot ask me, get up there, and as you can see, I've just pulled it round like this in a loop. See that from my fingers there? Just gonna pass them through, just like that. So now I can cinch them off to the tree. There we go. Now, down from this, I want to roughly take it roughly about here to this point. It just depends on the size of the tree, how far you want your, your top to be in. And all I want to do is just put a knot on them, just pull them through. And cinch. There we go. There's one. I'm going to do these consecutively down roughly about every four, four or five fingers apart. So if you do four fingers and then one extra, that's roughly where you want to be. Right, cool. As you can see, I've got a series of knots running down this now. So what I'll do is I'll now take my top with my beaner and simply attach them to the point where I think I want them, which is here roughly. You see there. Ugh. Blue mosquitoes, I hate them. Well, tops up. I really like it. Um, I definitely agree that it needs some sort of stretchy, elastic bits for the end, just some small loops, just attached to it so it's got a little bit of pull just when the wind gets because I've noticed I've pulled it quite tight and it doesn't feel, <laughs> it might be strong, but it doesn't feel the strongest um, for long term use. But this is where I've done my shelter today. So it comes on this back section, both sides to sides, really far down. Um, I've left this part low for a reason. Uh, main reason being is that if the rain comes in, it's going to generally it comes from this angle here. So I'm hoping that it should be fine. Um, we are forecast for a little bit of rain later. So if it does come down, it normally comes at this way. Well, let's get this bad boy back in this little sack. Quite tra quite quite happy with this. Um, super light. But that's with the that's it stuffed down again. 
I mean, obviously it didn't rain or anything last night, so I couldn't test the waterproof or anything like that. It wasn't windy, it was a still nice, happy, calm night. But, there we go. That's with the extra guide ropes on it that I'll put on, as well as the two carabiners. It's all squashed down inside of there. So, happy days with that. Right, guys, it's me sorted. Remember, guys, leave no trace but knowledge. Till next time. Thank you.